hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel hope you all will be fine uh, first of all i would like to thank you all for supporting me and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and i request you to watch the full video it's me then the financial analyst and i will tell you about what's happening in the iraq and uh, when actually the revaluation is happening and all the news is related to iraqi dinar revaluation so without wasting our time let's start the video in recent discussions around iraq's economic and political reforms Nushound guru Militia Man highlighted a crucial detail regarding Gazette issue 4782, which was expected to contain the much-anticipated new budget in June. According to Militia Man, this issue is simply not there. This absence has raised questions and concerns about the status of key reforms, such as the implementation of Article 140 and the hydrocarbon law. So, what does this all mean? Let's dive deeper into the significance of these components and why Militia Man is emphasizing the need for an official exchange rate before any of these reforms can take place. First, let's talk about Article 140. This article is part of the Iraqi Constitution and is crucial for addressing the disputed territories between the Iraqi Central Government and the Kurdistan Regional Government KRG. The main aim of Article 140 is to resolve these disputes but it has been delayed for years. A resolution would bring stability to regions that are rich in resources and important to both parties. However, any implementation of Article 140 would require a clear and stable financial framework. Why? Because resolving these disputes means potentially redistributing resources, populations, and administrative control, all of which could have significant economic implications. A stable and reliable exchange rate is key to making these transitions smoother and more predictable. Now let's consider the hydrocarbon law, which is another critical piece of legislation. Iraq's economy is heavily dependent on oil revenues, and this law aims to regulate the distribution of oil and gas resources across the country, especially between Baghdad and the KRG. Passing this law would provide a much-needed legal framework for managing Iraq's vast natural resources and could lead to more foreign investments. However, much like with Article 140, implementing this law without a stable and recognized exchange rate could create chaos in revenue distribution, foreign investment, and resource management. Militia Man is pointing out a simple but critical truth. Before any of these major reforms can take place, Iraq needs to establish an official exchange rate. Why is the exchange rate so important? Well, an official exchange rate gives both local and international stakeholders confidence in the country's financial system. It provides a stable foundation for contracts, agreements, and investments. Without it, any economic reforms could lead to market volatility, uncertainty, and ultimately, more delays. When you don't have a fixed or stable exchange rate, it becomes difficult to set prices, pay debts, or make international deals. Investors might hesitate to commit to projects in Iraq because of the risk of currency devaluation or inflation. Even more importantly, the citizens of Iraq, especially those in disputed territories, could lose trust in their government's ability to manage the economy.